Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about angiotensin receptor blockers. These are the medications ending with the suffix sartan. These are angiotensin 2 receptor blockers, so if we want to understand the mechanism of action, we have to see what angiotensin 2 normally does. Normally angiotensin 2 is secreted from the liver as angiotensinogen, which gets converted to angiotensin 1 by renin and that becomes angiotensin 2 by ACE and of course there is a receptor for angiotensin 2 these medications block the receptor and thus block the action of angiotensin 2 this mainly results in decreased blood pressure as angiotensin 2 normally increases blood pressure ACE enzyme normally increases blood pressure by two mechanisms first it produces angiotensin 2 and second by breaking bradykinin so ACE inhibitors like lisinopril will block both of these mechanisms resulting in significant decrease in blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 receptor blockers like Lozartan will only block one of these mechanisms so it's not as effective in decreasing blood pressure. There is also no bradykinin so there is no dry cough associated with bradykinin which we see with ACE inhibitors. They are mainly used to treat hypertension in patients who cannot tolerate ACE inhibitors. And they are especially effective in patients with diabetes because they can also protect against diabetic nephropathy. They cause temporary increase in creatinine, which goes back to normal in 2-3 to three weeks. And they can cause hyperkalemia, which if not treated will cause arrhythmias. They are teratogenic, like ACE inhibitors, and can cause renal malformation in the newborn. Alright, now try answering this question about the angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. In which of the following scenarios is the use of these medications contraindicated? The answer is any history with recent myocardial infarction due to the increased risk of hyperkalemia and arrhythmias. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.